Daniel and I and a small group went up to Canada to see the Linwood. And yeah, they got the door open, but it was in pretty sorry shape uh, and a real shame. But you could see the potential of the car, but also the, ex the experience and history of what it was like to own an RV, a recreational vehicle, at the turn of the century. And this is what that was for extremely wealthy people. It was their RV. The way they got around to see the country was in a private rail car. When it's restored, you will be able to have anyone get a feel and perhaps even experience what it was like in the turn of the century to go places in a private rail car, the RV of the day. And it'll be so cool. And it's three staterooms with three bathrooms, three ensuite bathrooms. And of course, uh, servants' quarters, galley. Uh, a dining room. Yes. A salon. Salon. It's just beautiful. Or it will be when it's restored. And I think that's a differentiating factor between what the Colebrookdale brings to the public and what the ride in a steam train experience that you could get elsewhere. And that's an exciting experience. And, but with the Colebrookdale, you get a more immersive experience of, granted, the luxury end of travel in the turn of the century, but nonetheless, uh, an accurate feel for what it was like at the turn of the century in Pullman cars. So what we refer to as the gatehouse actually functioned as our original ticket booth when we first opened in 2014. It was designed and built by volunteers and it stood at the, um, the southern intersection of the railroad tracks in Philadelphia Avenue in Boyertown. Once we erected our new ticket booth um, that's currently in the, the railroad yard, we actually gave use of the gatehouse to the town of Boyertown, which they use when we have parades and different civic events and things like that. They um, usually have someone stationed there basically um, to provide information to anyone who might be interested. Recently, we restored and did a lot of work on the north side of Philadelphia Avenue and at the same time we also relocated that gatehouse to the, the north side of the street. We put it on a, uh, an actual permanent foundation now where it previously had just sat actually on cinder blocks in gravel. So we raised it up a couple feet. It'll be a little bit more easy for people to actually get information. The windows are now higher up and so forth and the design then um, for that gatehouse um, it's going to actually have a really ornate brick base that's going to cover that concrete that's there now so what we consider the the brick water table is going to be comprised of a really um, beautifully shaped handmade bricks um, and some inlaid tiles and things like that and it'll really look like it's actually now springing from the the reclaimed brick that we put all around that ticket booth so it's going to be um, a little bit more permanent and it'll look a little bit more historic and uh, it'll really just fit the setting a little bit better. The community still has full access to it. Uh, they do still use it when, again, we have different events in town. The last few holidays, they have set up vignettes in front of the gatehouse for folks that are just walking around town, just a place to take their picture. For the fall, they had hay bales and mums, and then they had a, a different Christmas vignette. I believe they had an Easter one this past year. So it's just a, a nice place for people to, to gather um, when there's different events in town. Thank you.